This is a video about Custom Data Recorder. When you install the app, it has a few examples. For example, a contacts book, driving log, field samples, and questionnaire. So you can select to create your own form up here, and you can add a form, and then add a field. Very simply, you can add a field and you can select the field type. So it can be, field types can be just text, it can be various um, numbers, dates, check boxes, drop down lists, and a few other special types. So once you've created a form, you can add a new entry. So you press the new entry button, the green button here, and then you can type in a name. In this case, once you've added entries, you can view entries and that will bring up the data. So let's have a look at some of the examples. So the simplest example here is a contact book. Um, this is just first name, last name, company, phone number, email address, etc. And I've already got some entries in there. So for example, Joe Bloggs, there's his details. Now once you've got um, data entered in form, you can um, export it to a CSV file. So and you can also view it. And if you've got Google Sheets installed, you can view it uh, as a spreadsheet. And you can also email it to someone. Um, if you press delete, that deletes all the entries. So that's how the basics of how it works. Now I've got a few other examples in here, driving log. So this is like if you're a learner driver, um, so you can enter the vehicle registration details, start odometer, end odometer, location, road type. So this is a drop down list, back streets maybe, weather, raining, traffic, medium. Um, so we've got pickers for times, dates, and so once we've entered all the fields, so some fields can be optional. So these hours and days and the night down the bottom are optional. So we don't need to enter anything in those. So when you've filled out all the mandatory fields, you can press save and then you can view the entries. And if you want to view the details, you can click on it. Now, if you want to see which fields are mandatory, um, so when we create a new entry, we can go show required fields and they're highlighted with an asterisk. So you can see that these bottom two are not required. Right, so another example here is field samples. And this is quite a useful one if you're outside collecting data. So I'll show you some entries that I've created previously. So uh, first thing here is they've got um, automated uh, ID numbers, ID one, two, you can set those up to be whatever you want. Um, you can press this um, button over the, to the right of the location field to get the current GPS location. Or if you press the button next to that, the map icon there, it will show you on a map where that location was. Uh, let's put that in satellite mode. So that shows where that location was recorded. Oops. And down here, you can also take a photo um, and the button next to it shows the photo that was previously taken. So you can create a new entry. So today, current time, location, get the location, show that on a map. If you want to just check where it is. So I'm just using a fake location for this demo. Um, description. And you can take a photo if you want. Photo taken. And it just shows the photo name in there. And if you want to view that, you can press the view button. Okay, so, oops, I'm gonna make sure to press submit to save the entry. Okay, so when you've got the entries there, um, notice how the sample ID is auto incrementing. Um, I'll show you that, how to set that up in a minute. 
but um, so when you've got the entries you can you know view it in Google Sheets or you can export it from CSV and when you view it you can see that the lat long and location altitude is stored there uh, from the GPS and the photo is stored as the name of the photo the the photo is actually stored in the um, on the on the phone in a folder underneath the um, name of this form so field samples um, okay so final example here is questionnaire um, so So this might be um, customer questionnaire. So was the job completed? Yes. How satisfied were you? Maybe three out of five. Um, so you can leave an optional comment and submit that. So, and then there's the survey results. So that is how you use the app. So you should put your own forms under a different category up the top here rather than examples. Um, so you can add as many forms as you want. Um, you can also, when you've created a form, you can also um, export the form to a CDF file, or you can email the form to a CDF file and email it to someone else with the app, and they can easily then um, open that CDF file and import it into the app. Um, so you can do various things here. Um, so edit form design is probably the most common one you're going to want to do to select the, the fields, the types of the fields. And if you choose, for example, drop down list, then you can put the items here separated by the pipe symbol. Um, so that you've got multiple items in the list. Um, so we've got location, it's a GPS location. Um, auto index. So I'll just go back out, show you how that works. So in examples, there was field samples. Uh, there was this sample ID, it was an auto indexing field. So if you choose auto indexing as the field type, there's these various things you have to enter. So the prefix, in this case, ID is the prefix I want on each of the um, numbers, each of the IDs. And then a uh, number of digits, three, the start at number, so start at number one and increment by one so that'll go id 001 and then id 002 etc so that's that's how that auto increment field works uh, there's also various checkboxes down the bottom here so you can choose to include the id in the form name and you can sort by this field um, and of course the field you can choose if the field is optional so in a nutshell that's how the custom data recorder app works and I hope you find it useful, and there may be more field types being added in the future. Thank you.